And we're back. In case you just joined us, you can see the score there on the screen. The Boston Pops have defeated five of the tallest black men you've ever seen in your entire life in double overtime. The final score was 110 to 105. And you know, Charlie, this isn't the first close game the Pops have been in this year, is it? I should say not. Last week they had a close call and they played five of the shortest Jewish ladies you've ever seen. That was very close, 95 to 93. The week before that they had an easy one. They took Penn 105 to 3. And coming up next week, they'll be entering the semifinals where they'll take on five of the ugliest geometry teachers in the Northern Hemisphere. All this will be coming up on NBC Sports starting at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now Susan Toulouse is down on the floor with Samuel P. Thornton, the principal violinist and center for the Pops. Susan. Hi, Brent. I'm here with Samuel P. Thornton. Sam, maybe you could tell us a little bit about how you mapped out today's game. <clears throat> you know, basically, we've been doing the same thing we've been doing all season. On the offense, we like to use the full court press mixed with a little Tchaikovsky. And then defensively, we, um, we fall back on an old favorite of ours, a melody of light opera pieces. <laughs> now, uh, we used this on those little uh, Jewish ladies a couple weeks ago. And uh, to, to be perfectly honest, it almost didn't work. But that was an entirely different type of game, Sam. Uh, you were using some new tricks out there in the court today. Well, basically we... How did you keep their seven foot eight center to only six points? Well, we smashed a cello over his head. And now, it's totally legal. There's nothing in the rule book saying that you cannot use string instruments as weapons on the court. I see, but weren't you called on a viola violation earlier in the season? Well, yes, we were, but then we reminded the official of the rule, and we were cleared. I see. Thank you, Sam. Back to you, Brent. And that's all the time we have for today. Again, the final score, Boston Pops 110, five of the tallest black men you've ever seen, 105. Sports World is directed by David Emerson and produced by the NBC Sports Department. And brought to you by Tempo, steel-belted radial socks designed with the sportsman in mind and Mouthguard, the first breath freshener in block form.